Hi, this is June with New Orleans Potions, and I'm going to show you how to make a mineral lipstick from scratch. I've already uh, put all my ingredients in these little cups, as they're just easier for me to distribute from. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make up the mineral base first. So I'm going to use a tad of magnesium stearate, or actually it's two tads. I'm going to put in the comment box underneath uh, where I get all my tools and supplies. And we're going to put two tads of magnesium myristate. Okay, and then three tads of calcium carbonate. You have to tap it because it really doesn't come out. It actually sticks in the spoon. Okay, that's the mineral base for the lipstick. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the color. And this is um, Red 33 Lake Dye. And we put two large. This is messy, so you could wear gloves. I don't particularly care to but you, it, sometimes it's good. I always keep a paper towel. That just kind of helps me keep it cleaner. Also too, when you're working with minerals and mica powders and pigments, it's always good to um, wear a little mask. I'm not on this because I'm talking, but when you're creating stuff, it's a good thing to do because you really don't want it breathe in any of these. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna put is one large scoop of titanium dioxide. One large scoop of zinc oxide. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna put is a tinge of black oxide. And I use this little tool I got from TKB Trading. It came with a nail polish making kit. So I kind of use that for tweaking colors and things with the pigments. Okay, a little tinge. And the last thing is yellow oxide, and we're gonna put two medium scoops. Okay, that makes up the base of the lipstick and the color recipe. And the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the oils. So we're gonna put four mils of castor oil. also get these from TKB, these uh, syringes. And then the next thing we're gonna put is two mils of jojoba oil. Okay. And then the next is going to be the vitamin E. And you put one mil of vitamin E. There's a few ways to stir this. I'm gonna do it the quickest way, but you can do this by hand if you want to using a, a spatula, or some people like to put all the ingredients in the bag and mush it and mash it together until it's, until it's done. I personally use, um, uh, I'm a nail tech, so I like to use my drill. It just speeds it up and makes it go faster. So the first thing you wanna do is stir in the oils and the powder until everything is incorporated. And once you get that done, um, then you can turn the drill on. Also too, I always let this sit overnight. And what it does is um, all the colors will disperse from uh, using the base oils and then you'll get the true color of this uh, within 24 hours. So once you get all this incorporated in, also too, I like to use measuring spoons. I'm not opposed to the gram scale, and I know a lot of people use it. I just, I just find this simpler, and it's real consistent, but if you're really, really, really worried about consistency, and maybe the color might be like, I don't know, sometimes it's just, just a smidge off and you, you can't even tell. 
you can weigh it on a gram scale. What you do is you take the recipe, you weigh it out one time from the measuring spoons, and then you continue to use your gram scale after that. Okay, I've got all the oils incorporated, so now I'm gonna turn the drill on, and I'm gonna mix this really quickly. I'm not gonna drill it too long because I don't wanna keep the noise up in the video. But. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then when you, tomorrow morning after, or after it's sat 24 hours, you see the consistency of it is soft, like this and it's glossy. That's what you want it to look like tomorrow after your 24 hours of it setting up. So after 24 hours, usually after all the oils are absorbed, it's a little thicker. So what you wanna do is you wanna tweak it by adding a little more, um, uh, you can add castor oil by the drop until you get this consistency again. I usually put a half mil of castor oil and stir it up again. Okay. That's what it looks like. I use these little glass bowls. Just there, um, I got them actually at the dollar store, four for a dollar. It is real easy to clean. I'm gonna put some of this on my arm so you can see what it looks like. Oh, see, that's a very pretty color. And when you tweak it the next day and you have to put casserole back into it to get this consistency, it also, casserole makes it very, um, will make it glossy. Okay, and then, the next thing I would do is, once it's finished, I have this 10 mil pot I got from cosmetics.com and I will put it in here. And then also, I also use this lip gloss tube and that portion will fill this lip gloss tube exactly. Um, there is a video from tkbtrading.com that actually shows you how to fill these. I plan on making another video because I have a little bit easier way that will show you how to fill. But for the most part, I do it in these pots. Okay, that was June. I'm June with New Orleans Potions. And this is Old Absinthe House Lipstick. Thank you very much.